Hello everyone, what's going on? It's me Tangosis playing some more Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Last episode, you saw me look around a bit more and follow the ball of light for a bit. So in today's episode, we're just gonna keep following that ball of light. At the end of the episode, you saw me follow it. I was thinking I was gonna take us up here to the windmill up there, but it looks like, yeah, we're still going up to the windmill. I checked it out there last episode, but it didn't open, so perhaps a ball of light will get it open for us. I am not 100% sure. I'm just following it for now, but let's keep on going. Just see what happens. Here we go. Ball of light, just keep it on going. Up and around here. Here we are. Yep, looks like that was correct. And that'll lead us to the thing. There's an aura thing here too, so let's open it. Right this way. Alright, I'll try it again. Let's see. We can get this open. Maybe because I'm charging the controller that it's not opening, but keep on trying here. I think I'll try looking at it differently. Alright, I think that's it now. Maybe not. Oh, here we go. Thing. Alright, this might take a while, lads, so bear with me here as we attempt to get this thing open. Alright, maybe I'll try angling it differently. There we go. We got all the big one there, too. My name is Frank. Jacob Appleton. And if you're listening to this, then maybe Stephen was right, and by sending the planes, he stopped it all getting worse. It's a beautiful morning. I wasn't there when Mary died. I was too scared. So I went to the pub instead. What will be, will be, Frank, she said. And I just want you to face it with me. And I didn't. But I will now. I will face it with you now, Mary. They're coming. All of explosions. There's more of those wee fireflies too, so looks like we're approaching a new area. No, nope, let's keep going, see what we can find. Perhaps that gate... No, it now is a different way, so... There's an R gate there, so let's see if that's where we have to go. No, it's leading around it, so... Oh wait, no, that gate was... Already opened, I just looked at it wrong. Well, nope, let's keep going. wonder what the new area will be. I mean, that was a farm area, or was a foresty area, and then of course there was a town, so... I wonder what this next area will be. Let's see if we can keep on going. 
You know, if we had this game, you could take some pretty neat wallpapers and screenshots of this, or screenshots to use as wallpapers. Especially with the nighttime scene, it's really pretty. Alright, let's keep on going. There we go. I see another ball of light there too. That's a particularly shiny one, it looks like. This ball of light's called Lizzie. I think that's the lady that our fellow was talking about a good bit, so... Let's keep following it. Ooh, this looks nice. It's like a park or a fairgrounds. Looks like there might have been a blockade on the road, but... Let's head on free. See what happens. Looks like a training too. Ah, so it's a holiday camp. Oh, right. So we're at a holiday camp area. Oh, let's open this ball of light and see what happens. Here we go. Mrs. Graves! Lizzie, Mrs. Graves! Rachel? Hey, what on earth's going on? It's been awful. The thunder and the lightning and all the power went out. And everyone was in the hall, so I told them all to stay put. And then Sean, Sean Davis said he wasn't going to be told what to do by a stupid bloody girl and went out for a cigarette. And then didn't come back. And then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back but either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? No, I've been looking after him. Do you think they'll come back? I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. But don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Must be the town hall we were at earlier. Yeah, it looks like there's nowhere fine here. Let's see, we've got a main hall, uh, we even have tennis courts too, fancy, and swimming pools. You know, that means lads, let's go for a swim. And, of course, there's a phone here too, so, perhaps that's inside here, oh, the post office. And it's raining too, so hopefully we have a nice big cup of tea around. And they do, we got the mugs, but there's no tea. What a shame. Oh, let's answer the phone. Save them. And meet me at the station. They've closed the lines. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. Well, like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks without you, clever thing. I love you. See you tomorrow. Well, looks like door's locked and they have ran out of tea, so we're just gonna have to keep looking around. So, Alright, oh, that was the reception and the post office, so pool is this way then, so let's go for a swim, even though it's all wet. Looks like we can't go that way either. Yeah, it sounds like we're gonna get a Storm 2. Hope a character is wrapped up warmly. We're leaving a big puddle here too. It was awfully quick. We'll probably catch the cold if we go swimming in this weather. Alright, so we're at 12. We're at the swimming pool changing rooms, which presumably are just over here, so. Well, so unlikely, we might still have tea in here, so. Let's go. Let me get that. I can manage. Now we're going first. Your hip giving you grief today. Always gives me grief. 
And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the knight in shining armor routine. Sue yourself, I'm only trying to help. God damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Anything except okay? I thought not. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. We even have some toilet paper here in the changing rooms. Well, here's a PO, so let's see if we can go for a spin. I don't know, it's like we're gonna have to climb down, so let's see if we can go for it. And it looks like we can't. Oh well. Well, we can't go swimming. Next in line's a nice big cup of tea. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm very fond of my tea, you see. Well, let's go over here into the showers, see if we can find anything interesting. I right, found wait. another dead bird over at the swimming pool. That's the fourth one this morning. Did you fish it out? Yeah. Did you get a chance to think about that pain right? Oh, I'm sorry, Reese. I've been a little bit busy. Oh, Rachel. Sorry I'm late, Mrs. Graves. I was packing away the tennis things. Did you check Mr. Cole Shelley again like I asked you to? He's not back yet. I haven't seen him either. Do you think he went into town? Maybe. Yeah, something oh, like wait, that. So the dentists were booked in for a 4.30 tennis session, but they didn't show up. So I went to their chalet. You know, they always take the one near the campfire, but they weren't there either. I think maybe they went into the village for a hoover bag and might have given Mr. Code a lift. A hoover bag? Why on earth would they do that? Well, I think maybe Mrs. Denton was hoovering and the bag broke, so they had to get another one. Because there's this dust all over their chalet. Oh, let's see. There's another ball flight here, so... Could be some... There are some... Chalets, she said. Look like caravans, but I'll check I just hear a boat into the this way first. I think around here just a bit of a pass. Looks like a bit of a hiking trip. Might take a while to explore. I think it's just like a lap around that big mountain, so well rock formation, whatever you want to call it, but let's look around this way here first. Let's go inside the bathrooms here. Uh, looks like we can't go well to the female's bathroom. There's no one here, so I'm sure we won't mind. Size sounds like there's a radio. Or a shower. Well, there we go. Yeah, I hear another radio as well. I could be inside with those caravans. It's quite a nice caravan park, actually. Well, let's see if we can go in. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, what about this one? All five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. Kind of. I think we're moving so far beyond everything I understand about physics. Have you lads ever stayed in caravans before? I have before, quite a number of times actually. Remember I did a video a few a handful of months back on the caravan I stayed at for a... Uh, oh, this one's open. Oh, something like this, just a bit wider. Or bigger as well, I think, but it's still quite nice. It's cozy enough. And there's a kettle as well. Or... At least I thought I saw one, but... Uh, it's just a pot. Oh, there it is, too. There's a kettle. Looks like we can't make any tea, unfortunately, but oh well. Oh, we can close that door. There we go. 
Let's see if we can look around these here caravans still. See if hopefully there's one where we can make a nice big pot of tea. Quite like my tea. Out of curiosity, lads, do you guys prefer tea, coffee, or hot chocolate? And which one do you prefer? Do you like it like weak or strong, or do you like to add brown sugar or white sugar, or do you prefer to drink it how it is? I can drink either. I'm happy enough of any. This is Don't a really public li service announcement from Habiton District Council oh. Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. But be sure to report any symptoms of illness. As I was saying, I can drink either tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. I quite like them all. For coffee, I quite like a one or two bits of brown sugar. Don't really take sugar with the tea that often, but it usually has a bit of flavour. So, let's open up this thing as well. Here we go. Hello, Catherine. It's Kate. Elizabeth? Lizzie. I've heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago, he moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, or... Well, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth... I... Lizzie, please. <laughs> Lizzie. You seem like an okay type of person, and I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. That's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. We'll do our best, then. You'll try your best, lads. If anyone here is actually from mainland Britain, you'd mind confirming if that's like an actual thing you say. We have a big pond over here too, or a big lake. Be a good bit for a spot of fishing, wouldn't you say? Once caught a rainbow trout doing some fishing a while back with my grandparents. That was a nice day. I fed it to her cat. So we're here at the waters. Looks like there's some boats over here too, so let's see if we can... It looks like the rain stopped, or is it still going? It's a bit hard to tell, but yeah, it's still going. Some more caravans up here too, so let's see up here. Oh, someone's been making a barbecue, but it looks like I forgot to... I think I boiled the... cooked the burgers too much. I sort of overcooked it. Bit of a shame. I'd like my burgers for a barbecues. Well, let's see if we can go inside these caravans here. Now that one's locked. This one's open, so hopefully they have a nice big pot of tea. I doubt it, but let's still pop in. Oh, this one's cozy. Oh God, Stephen. What's happening to me? Oh God. That don't sound too fun. Oh, here's our caravan here. Can we go inside it? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, I think we've checked out this one already, but... If I check again, just be on the safe side. Now that one's locked as well. I don't think there's any lock picking in this game, so we can't access it that way. Well, we'll try this place out. And that one's locked too. Do you guys prefer the static caravans like these, or do you prefer the touring caravans? I personally, I prefer the static caravans since there's more space. But then the touring caravans are also quite cozy. You can just kick your feet up and just watch movies all day. 
I stayed, or even mostly just bringing the PS Vita around and just play games on it. Right, I think we were around this area too. I think this is the caravan I was at with the. Uh... Alright, maybe not. I'm pretty sure it was one of these caravans I think I was in with the T. Or perhaps not, but we can check. Well, we're still quite nice. Let's head over this way too. This and that way was the field. She's a nice park here either. too. Well, they live nearby, don't they? Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Rob will turn up when he's sober. It'll be all right. Do you want me to go look for her? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number that I promised everyone a cup of tea. Oh, yes, I like my tea. Long, you know, like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. No lads, let's end the episode off here. So, what we did was, we just explored the campgrounds area, so that was fun enough. So if you guys liked, please leave a like. If you want to share your thoughts, please comment so below. And if you want to stay tuned for more content, please subscribe. And I'll see all you nice people.